Well, yeah, we, um, I thought we did a good job transition defense, um, took solid care of the basketball with only six turnovers, and, and they did get, you can see how big and physical Carolina is, and they got a few offensive rebounds, but we tried to be attentive to, um, you know, really trying to block out and do the things that we thought were so important in this, trapped when we could, and then, you know, just made enough uh, enough plays, and I thought you know, number of guys were solid. I thought Jay was really good tonight um, on the glass and with his length. And I, you know, even I look at Reese's stat line, you know, one point, but um, eight rebounds and seven assists in games like this, you need you need your guards to really come back and rebound. And I thought you know he did a good job with that and made um, enough stretched it with our threes um, because they were you know they're big and we had to move them and and do what we needed to do. Yeah, a lot of talk about physicality going into this game for this Carolina bunch. And, and I know we've kind of joked about this idea of the F word being finesse. Your team seemed like they played with a, a brand of physicality. I, I'm not sure we've seen to this degree this year. What was your assessment of that part of it? Well, you don't have a choice. Well, you do have a choice, actually, against Carolina. They kind of demand you to um, stand in there and be physical if you want to have any kind of success against them. And so um, that's why I liked what Jay and Sam did. I thought they were physical. And then even the guys that didn't play a lot that came in, they, they moved hard, they worked hard. And um, we were, were locked in. You know, and Carolina missed some, some bunnies, uh, some close ones, and, and they didn't have a, a very good shooting game from three. So all that stuff plays into it. But we tried to, um, you know, just it, it's always a battle of kind of imposing your will or systems, what have you, against them. So I, I liked how we had a level of patience and movement offensively that helped us. And then we didn't give up too many easy um, breakdowns. Couple at the rim, but not, not too many. All right, thanks, Coach. Well, I'll hand it off to the other guys. Is someone? All right. Oh. All right, we'll go ahead and go Jeff White, Preston Willett, and Bennett Conlon. Tony, there were some games early in the season, particularly the Gonzaga game and the first Notre Dame game, where the other teams, fours and fives, really kind of had their way inside. Did you tell Jay? and Sam that they had to get better at that end if if your team was going to go where it wanted to go or was that just kind of understood I think it's understood I mean it's obvious you know Jeff it was um, sometimes it was some fours and fives that were really like playing like guards that would separate and shoot threes um, and and you know this was a little different this was a real physical post up we used our trap at most of the time but um, I thought we got early in the year hurt by some of those Kispert from Gonzaga, uh, different guys. So this was a different look. But I think definitely Sam has improved and Jay have improved defensively. And you know, I, I keep going back to Reese, Sam, and Trey. This is their first year. Those were three new guys, um, first year playing, you know, and, and defensively. So I, I think we're getting better. I think, you know, those things are showing. But um, yeah, they, they had to, and I think it was just understood. Coach, again, going back to that physicality, Jay put up a great stat line tonight, but what was your impression? Just he ended up with just one foul in the game and it seemed like he was ready for the task against these UNC bigs tonight. Yeah, no, I thought, you know, again, offensively, he could move and separate out the three. You saw some of that early. Um, we, it's not like we were pounding it inside and going to work in the post, but um, I thought offensively we, we did what we needed to do. And then, yeah, no, his length was good. He was in position, and he and Sam were really trying to block out and I, I liked, um, I, I told you at the start, I thought Jay really had a nice game for us. Coach, you held Georgia Tech to a season low in scoring, held UNC to a season low in scoring today. Do you feel like the defense is trending in the right direction? Well, I, I think our Georgia Tech defense was good, and I thought today was solid, you know, when they struggled to make outside shots. Hopefully we had something to do with it. I don't know if they were, you know, they uh, missed some, but it, it, it that's always the goal, just to, to make that opponent earn a quality shot. Like it's gotta be contested and the majority of them were. We won the majority of the, the possessions um, and so it looked better the last two games. Now we'll have a great opportunity to test it against obviously an excellent team on um, uh, Monday night. <laughs> All right, next three we'll go Jerry Ratcliffe, Mike Barber and Caroline Darney. Uh, Tony, uh, Kind of piggybacking on the uh, three-point thing, 
the last last two opponents you've had, uh, you really limited their three point shooting. It was kind of the difference in the games. Uh, can you just talk about? Have you put a lot of more emphasis on getting out? To the well, line of defending shooters? Yeah, I mean, you know, Carolina isn't, they're more into inside, outside, and obviously Walton and some of the guys can get it going, but, but Georgia Tech, I thought we did a good job. Sometimes you're just fortunate, but, you know, it's just a, a process that you just kind of keep um, hammering away at us, trying to, you know, air time. We always sort of be there on the catch, contested shots, you know, jam the lane, but, but shoot contested shots. Reese is good with that. Trey is really improving with his length. Sam understands position. Um, Kihei, you know, so when, when those guys that are playing the majority of the minutes are, are doing that, Tom is, is getting better. I think that, you know, everything's a concerted effort, right? Taking away the lane, pressuring the ball. We really worked hard on not letting them window shop or like a quarterback in the pocket so they couldn't throw the ball in the post today. Um, but, but you just keep whittling away at all areas to become hopefully sounder and tougher. And there's times that the defense has to hold in there for you while you I think that should happen in the first half of Georgia Tech. Yeah, Tony, that 21 to 2 stretch early there in the, in the first half, obviously you seize control of the game. What was it that kind of clicked at both ends that, that let you be that dominant for that long a stretch? Well, yeah, I thought we, you know, made some threes, but we were moving. And, you know, again, like Jeff asked, sometimes when your you're fours and fives can can separate and move, whether it's ball screens, off ball screens, or all that, that, that always puts you in a dilemma, you know, and, and so we made, you know, you saw they had, we moved Sam and they had, at times it was um, Brooks chasing him, you know, we moved Sam like a guard, so I just thought Jay got some great looks off penetration, um, we got the looks and then defensively they did miss some early, but I thought we were, made them earn, and again, they were a little cold, we got into a rhythm offensively, and and then we, we got that separation, and then certainly they came back. But for the most part, I think that was a it was just good basketball on both ends. Tony, what can you say about Thomas's improved passing and what he does for spacing offensively when you can use him in stretches like he did tonight? Yeah, he moves like that offensively. He is a mover. Like he really moves hard. He'll change directions. You know, Kyle Guy was one of the best movers in terms of like movement, and and that draws you know when he's flying around you know he had four threes against Pitt Um, when he's moving like that and then sometimes they can get a little nervous if they don't switch Florida State's a different animal they switch everything but those bigs like okay do I help and so I think that movement helps and yeah he's really playing within himself he's he's trying to find the open guys taking the rhythm shots when they're there um, making some passes and with soundness you know he's, he's got a natural flair or feel for the game and so when he can bring it with some soundness, that really, um, really helps. Him out there instead of uh, one guy chasing the point guard and the other guy guarding nobody being oh, called in between. So we did a very poor job of that. It's hard to our, simulate I think someone's got their oh, microphone no, on and we're listening to Coach Williams. Hey, I'm, I'm good. If, if you guys are good, I'm good. Yeah, we, we good? one more Coach Normwood and then okay. we'll wrap it up. I think you heard enough. Big guys are seven for Hey, Tony, I'll, I'll talk over Hank's open mic there. Uh, you, you touched a little bit on FSU. Hank, mute your phone. Straight at home. Um, obviously really good down there. One of the more balanced teams in the ACC. Average between 9 and 14 points. Five guys averaging between 9 and 14 points. Uh, what's the challenge like going down there? do with Virginia defensively, um, I mean, the, you know, your guys just kind of getting acclimated to playing against how they play that pack line. Hey, hey Kurt, can you please uh, think yourself? Their defense is all hey, good. turn your mic off, dude. Hank, report to the principal's office. You're in trouble. <laughs> I heard you ask about Florida State. I, we hear, I, I think, yes, they're, they're so big and mobile and interchangeable. They can switch. They switch ball screens one through five. They switch off ball screens. Um, they're physical. They, um, they, get, um, they get after you. You know, they have some terrific talent with size. And... You know, obviously it shows their their record. They're playing good ball. They they uh, I caught the tail end of that one today. You know, Wake Forest played great down there, and they survived. Um, and um, but they're they're really good. Coach Hamilton does a real good job, a great job in their depth. You know, they have great depth. Play a lot of guys. Play hard, and they they really make you force you to kind of make some plays off the dribble. So you're going to have to be ready. I that's I think 
I don't know if that's what you asked, but I'll just yep, give you. Yep, you got the gist of it, man. Thank okay. you. All right.